friends and future friends, I am Shrewboard303 and welcome back to the Pokemon White Weakling Challenge. Now in the last episode I got really annoyed with the amount of trainers in here and I said that I'd battle them off screen and I did and this is how the team's looking, no real difference. I also battled this nurse and well she heals your Pokemon just like the doctor did back in Charge Stone Cave I want to say it was called. Right, in this episode I'm determined to actually make it to the top of this tower and not be as bitter. And I've just noticed literally there's- oh actually no, there's only two trainers on this floor, that's fine. I can live with that. I think it was- I was just a little salty because there were literally four- like five, four or five trainers. I mean I started off with four because for the four psychics and then the nurse I counted as one I guess, technically. Yeah, I guess it was just annoying because there were like five trainers that I basically had to battle and I was just like, mm, I just want to progress the story. These aren't even like the Elite Four, four important trainers. Right, but anyway, all saltiness aside, we are climbing Celestial Tower I believe it's called. Right, <laughs> I mean I say I believe because I don't know. I mean. I think it is. I think I'm correct in calling it Celestic Tower or Celestial. No, it'll be Celestial Tower, won't it? Because Celestic was the name of a town in Gen 4. I know what I'm talking about. He says as he cries to himself because he doesn't know any of the names. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Not a, not a bad DM, actually. I mean, it's normal type, so I'm... Going by my rules, I could teach it to Zeus if I wanted to. But I mean, it's it's one of those, it's powerful, but its accuracy isn't great, I think. Also, yo, shout out to these two ace trainers, I say in air quotes. There's two trainers, and they have three Pokemon between the two of them. That is what I'm here for. <laughs> trainers that I can blaze through quickly and just easily. <laughs> Easily progress. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, but is, isn't they going to heal the Meditite? Isn't they going to heal the Meditite? Yes, that was English. Wow. Like I say, I'm a writing student and my spoken grammar is appalling. You'd think I'd be able to actually speak properly, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh dear, apparently not though. Right, I believe this might be- ah, there we go. I was about to say this might be the final floor, but the fact that Skylar's here suggests it's the peak. Oh, you came. Thank you. I was right. What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry though, it's fine now. I gave it a max revive, then it felt better and flew away. Hehe, <laughs> don't I have great eyesight. No matter how far things away are, a pilot's eyes can see them. Oh, that's right. Since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Whereas if it was me in real life, it would just be... Uh, it would just be some whiny complaining noise. See, that actually sounds normal. Suggesting that the... <laughs> the girl we are playing as is a nice normal person with a good heart. What a pretty sound. Tori, you are a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skylar, the leader of Miss Dralton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. When you are ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Now we could do that, but at the same time I also want to continue down this route that we were on and like, see what else is here. Just, mm, actually no I don't, you know what, let's just fly back to Mr. Alton City like once we get to the bottom floor because I remember I just walked past as many of the trainers on that route as I could, trying to get here. <laughs> just out of laziness, I didn't want to battle anyone. <laughs> oh dear. But I mean, now it's open to us, I kind of want to get to the next gym battle. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have to <laughs> say to myself, or like try and remember within like, probably the minute at most it'll take us to get back to Mr. Alton City, not to go in the Pokemon Center and heal up, because that nurse just did it for us. But oh my gosh, there are so many trainers in here. 
Right, this is the bottom floor? Yes, it is. Nice. Right, cool. And, oh, it's raining. <laughs> yeah, let's just fly away, shall we? I say that as... Ooh! Next is Icarus City. I don't remember... Oh, gosh, I don't remember that at all. Then there's Opelucid. Yep, that is the final one. Lanukosa. I don't remember Undella Town. Okay, I think I remember Undella Town. And why? Okay. Now I think these last three, these are like after, obviously, the Pokemon League. But I do not remember these towns. Hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> See, that's what happens when I don't play it. Play one generation that much. I do not remember the places at all. Right. Well, let's just fly back to Mr. Alton, shall we? Make a start at least on the gym. Because I mean, we can do. Whee! Right, let's head straight to the gym. It's, oh, good, we don't have to stop and do anything specific. Right, oh, casual plane. <laughs> Repel war off, that is fine. And the guy blocking our way has now moved. Please take this fresh water. Nice, free items, I will take it. Yep, yep. Yet yeah, normally Skylar is obviously the flying type gym leader, but again, it's a randomizer, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the main gimmick of this is it's sort of a maze, but not really. You literally just follow a path to get to the gym leader. Right. And then, this person will be our first battle in here. What do you think about the cannons? Isn't it great that you can experience how flying Pokemon feel? Next exper- well, rude. I don't plan on losing. Entrepreneur Marilyn. With a- oh, a camera up I am gonna have to switch out. I mean, from what I can remember, camera up they don't actually resist grass despite being fire type just because they have a ground subtype I want to say but this is one of those things that I'm not entirely certain on so don't actually quote me on that I mean it's only using takedown so that's not too bad right so bubble beam should be a one hit KO even against this camera up. nice it is right Chloris gets to level 38 awesome and an ape on air we can stick in with Hades. Right, let's go with submission and hope it actually hits. Um, mm, it's happening again, guys. <laughs> it's Regigigas round two. <laughs> oh, in the early game, submission was being so nice to me, then all of a sudden it's just... Maybe it just feels jaded that I've been using Bubble Beam more. <laughs> oh dear, let's just give Hades milk. Get him back up to full health. And then I think I'll put Hades up first. Just because Chloris is level 38 now as well. Hey, but there's an exciting thing. We'll be getting into the 40s soon. So yeah, the levels are slowly getting up there. And I know that guy, he wasn't or this guy isn't like I guess he didn't we didn't need to battle him I just figured it looked like he was stood in front of a landing pad maybe we maybe you'd normally battle him as like a result of getting into a cannon incorrectly maybe I don't know hex I don't even remember what that move does I think it mm, no I don't know what hex does I'm gonna hazard a guess and say maybe it's, oh, it does more damage if the enemy has a status infliction, something like that. I feel like it's like that, but again, I don't actually know. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's one of those moves that, it's a ghost type move, yeah, cool, but it just gets outclassed by Shadow Ball, probably. So yeah, who knows? Right, let's download something against this coughing. You know what, I'm thinking, just for the download, I might 
lead off against Skylar with Amaterasu. Because, I mean, like I say, Amaterasu seems to be my most well-rounded team member, as bad as that is. Like, just has most types covered. Mm. And I think with a free stat boost at the start and cosmic power available to us, it's probably the safer thing to go with. Right, let's battle this pilot. Who apparently had the dream since they were a child. Good for you. I'll be honest, I the dream that I have now is absolutely not the one I had as a child. Because I'm going to say now, when I was a child, I wanted to be a train driver and... <laughs> I have literally no interest in that anymore, whatsoever. I don't know why I wanted to be a train driver. Apparently, I just did. <laughs> uh, dear. And literally, I have at this point in my life, I have zero interest in trains, and I'm just like, I don't care. Right, and with Marsh Tomp, let's bring in Chloris again. Also, I feel like Hades always seems to get hit with status conditions. It's always him. I don't know why. Or at least with the pa paralysis, it always seems to be Hades. Mm, I don't, maybe it's just because like the Pokemon that inflict paralysis. It's not like electric types, but it's other Pokemon that can. I don't know. Something about altitude dropping slowly. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, we've only got hyper potions, that's fine, so I shall use... Oh no, we've got the fresh water, that'll work. Let's use that, and we have full heals as well. I remember stocking up on those. Right, there we go. Now we've done that, let's switch Zeus out first as well. So, that's that. I mean, unless the next battle's just going to be Sky... Oh wait, is this one that we can... It is. Ah, that is sneaky, they block it off. <laughs> right, so that's through here, I want to say. I don't know where I'm going at this point. Ah, right, and then we have to go back in it from the other side, got it. Target locker quiet. You'll shoot me down. We both stood on the ground. <laughs> Why would you shoot someone up down on the ground? How about just don't shoot people? Simple as that. Also, this Dragonite made me realise I probably, or made me realise, I could probably do with an Ice-type move somewhere on my team. <laughs> Just for taking down dragons, because the only Dragon-type move we have is Twister, and I don't think that's going to come in very handy, is it? Right, I do apologise while I need to take a drink. Oh, my phone's just gone off. Nice, right, there we go. Now, hopefully we'll get one more hit in before we go down. Ah, uh, oh, agility, ooh. If, if he uses Dragon Rage, we can survive that, but anything else I'm a bit shifty on. Slam, perfect, there we go. A Dragonite de defeated by a Linoon. Right, ooh, and, ooh, nearly leveled up as well. Right, ooh, I'm gonna have to heal up Zeus as well, aren't I? I mean, like, I don't have to, but I'm pretty sure it'd be an extremely bad decision if I didn't. Right, da 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 Right, health up. Then we just jump in the cannon, basically the way we went back. Right, there we go, so there's just one more person to battle, I'm hoping. Right, this is going to shoot us down, and then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where we're meant to go from there. But like I say, at least this place, or this gym, is more or less just a linear path, so it's not too difficult. Alright. Also, I'm just going to call it now, this Golbat's going to use Confuse Ray or Supersonic, like immediately. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, Mean Luck wasn't expecting that. Nice. I can live with that. Because it means that Zeus is going to level up without taking any damage. Nice. Ta-da! There we go, and now everyone's 38 as well. Right, so we can just go... Go down wherever this goes. <laughs> through that hoop, apparently, and then through here, since it's the only way. Through another hoop. 
Wee! Ooh, threw two hoops that time. We getting fancy, guys. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I just smashed our face into the wall. <laughs> Hello, Skylar. I have now had my face smashed into a wall, thanks to you. <laughs> right, so here we go. Let's just get into this. Hehe, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Did you enjoy flying with the help of the Miss Draught and Jim Cannons? They're my pride and joy. This time, let's try something else. Right, Skylar is now Jill, which is disappointingly normal. Not gonna lie. Manager Jill starts off with a Tynamo, that is... Oh, that's electric type. We can stick We can stick in with Amaterasu then. Right. I'm thinking, do I maybe have the time to use a, a cosmic power? You know what, let's do it anyway. Because I don't think Amaterasu, no, that Tynamo can particularly do anything painful against us. I mean, Thunder Wave, that's a pain in the neck, but I can always just use a full heal, like, immediately. Which is just what I'm going to do, because I am the royal worst. Right, let's just heal this up. Now I'm gonna hope we'll move quicker. Oh no, this is gonna paralyze as well, isn't it? I'm calling it now. Oh wow, it didn't. I don't know, I just go to immediate negativity. Right, also normally ty the Tynamo line have... What does it have? Levitate for their ability, so... Normally ground type moves wouldn't work. Cobalion, that is... Fighting Steel? So I'm thinking ground should still be okay. It's also a legendary Pokemon, which I'm not happy about. Oh no. Oh, that... Oh no, it's raised its attack. I suppose it's only fair because we raised our defences as well. Right. Ooh, is... <gasps> is that the healing threshold? I'm not sure. When I think about a match with a fabulous trainer like you, I'm walking on air. Right, that is the healing threshold, right. But with lowered special defence, we we could, like, one-hit KO it if we're lucky. Also, I didn't actually know that Earth Power had the, like, the ability to lower special defence. There you go, you learn something every day. Right, and ooh, nice. 2500 experience, my goodness. Cryogonal, that's ice type. I'm gonna make the poor decision, I'm just gonna hope Rock Throw will do it. But Cryogonal, it's really fast and it hits really hard. That's the thing, yep. <gasps> could we have, could it be a clean sweep? <laughs> yes it is! Wow, nice. After all the negativity I had in the last episode, this is a welcome change in my eyes. <laughs> You're an amazing trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy for the first time in a while we could fight with our full strength. This is an official league badge and we think it looks good on you. Nice. It's also badge number 6 out of 8, so we are slowly getting there. And by there I mean the end. <laughs> I worded that really terribly. Wow, hot stuff. With that many gym badges, Pokemon to level 70 will obey you. And this TM is... Roost. Isn't that what it is normally? Or is it Aerial Ace? Oh, Acrobatics, okay. I mean, honestly, uh, Team Plasma, they are in Twist Mountain slash Icarus City. I don't remember Icarus City at all. I mean, I think I do. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, ends here. Uh, okay, are you gonna force us to battle? They say... They may say it is for understanding one another better, but what trainers really use battles for is to compete, and they hurt each other's Pokémon. Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever, I'm gonna talk... Um, I've been living with Pokémon since I was born, so it's easy for me to talk to them than with people. Because Pokemon never tell lies. Hey, Solrock, would you tell me what kind of what kind of trainer Tori is? Okay, okay, got it. So Tori was born in Nuvema Town, lives with Mom, and was given the Pokedex to start off a journey to see the world. Still, this Solrock trusts you for some reason. That's good. If every Pokemon and person cared about no, if every person and oh cared about one another like you two do. 
I could watch over the future without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just use them. Getsis is using P Team Plasma to search for some special stones. The Light and the Dark Stone. The stones are the two essences of the legendary Pokemon. It's said that when they lost their physical form, they fell into a slumber and were transformed. Now they wait for the hero's arrival. I shall resurrect a legendary Dragon-type Pokemon from one of those stones and become its friend. That will show the world I am the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. My vision to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will just make others resist. If people resist, the ones who will be hurt are the innocent Pokemon used by foolish trainers. You understand. You aren't using just... Pokemon aren't just tools for pe people to use. I am flubbing this up horrifically, I do apologise. <laughs> As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated. And that does break my heart a little. Alright then, that was weird. <laughs> but I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Well, for another episode of the Pokemon White Weakling Challenge, where we will be heading back towards Celestic Tower on that route. See you then.